looks like it's going to be Libby Clegg's night. It's gone for Clegg. She's done the double in Rio. So this is one of my gold medals from the Paralympics in Rio. They're a bit battered already because everyone touches them. Depending on whether they're gold, silver or bronze, they'll make a different rattle. So. <laughs> I don't really look at myself as being a role model. I kind of just think I'm a normal person that's just got a really cool job that I enjoy doing. I'm, I got into athletics initially um, just by really enjoying sports day. I'm quite competitive. It was only when I was about nine, around the same time I got diagnosed with my condition, that I was able to join a running club. To be honest, I can't really remember what it's like to see anymore, um, but I can remember that I could see. I remember just like just being a normal kid, riding my bike, playing in the garden, fighting with my sister. <laughs> My eye condition is Stargardt's macular dystrophy, which is um, a loss of central vision. It's like a firework all scrunched up. It's actually really nice to look at. She's excited. I was the first one out of my siblings to be diagnosed with the eye condition. My brother got diagnosed the year after me. He was about six. And my youngest brother, I think he was 10 when he got diagnosed. So we're all sort of a bit spread out. My sister's the only sighted one. Come on. Hattie is my guide dog. I've had her nearly um, three years now. For me, it, she mostly made the difference in making other people aware that I couldn't see, so I didn't have to explain myself all the time. Watch the potholes. <laughs> Come on. She's amazing. I'd like to win double gold in front of a home crowd back in the Olympic Stadium. You ready? I didn't really get to do what I wanted to do at the Paralympics in 2012. Do my best, we'll see what happens. I won the silver after London, I was in a school, and one of the teachers was like, put your hand up if you'd like to win a silver medal. And all these kids put their hand up, but this one at the front, this one little girl at the front, and she went, I don't want to win a silver one. I'm going to win a gold one. <laughs> it's like the right attitude. <laughs>